how did I go from being in the darkest place you could ever be at the lowest point of my life to now being able to provide for my family doing something I love? I had to ask myself the same question and the answers may shock you. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the two things that I changed that have enabled me to not only turn my life around, but also flourish doing something I love. Let's go! I came from a long history of drug addicts and alcoholics. It seemed like everybody I knew or looked up to was drinking and smoking. So it was no mystery that I would eventually follow down that same path. From a very young age, I was addicted to drugs, sex, and even violence. At age 11, I caught my first felony of arson. At age 13, I caught my second felony of burglary. And my lifestyle pretty much went on like that for years. I was reckless, I was inconsiderate, and most importantly, I was selfish. I was sentenced to adult prison for the first time in 2009. I was a full-time heroin dealer at the time, and someone had called me asking for some marijuana and crack. I didn't even sell those drugs, but I still went and got them and took them over to him. He said that his friend was in the front room and he wanted to take the drugs and show him, but didn't want his friend to see who I was. So I gave him the drugs, he took them in the other room, and then his friend ran out the front door with them. I didn't want to jeopardize what I had going on at the time, so I just let it go. A couple weeks later, I was having a party at my house with a bunch of my friends. We were drinking, acting up, and someone knocks at the door. I opened the door and it was one of my best friends saying he just got robbed. We asked him who did it and it ended up being the same person that got me a couple weeks prior. As you can imagine, I had been drinking, smoking, and I wasn't thinking clearly. Myself and a group of guys decided to go over to the house with guns. We kicked in the door and we assaulted this man. He ended up losing his left eye and had to be air flighted out of there. Because of these actions, I was charged with aggravated burglary for kicking in his door and felonious assault for causing harm. At the time, I didn't feel bad about the situation and eventually I was sentenced to 18 months in prison. When I was released from prison, I did not change. I continued to live that way for many more years. About five years later, I tried heroin for the first time and became addicted. I struggled with heroin addiction for about eight years. So you might be asking how? How could I do those things? How could I live that way for so long? Or even how was I able to change and turn my life around? I'm still not sure why I chose that path and decided to live that way. And I guess when you live a certain way for so long, it just becomes normal. That's why they say, if you wanna change your life and get off drugs, you have to unlearn everything you know. But for the last question, how was I able to change and turn my life around? Two things. In 2019, I was serving an 18 month prison sentence for drug related crimes. Just because you're in prison, doesn't mean the drugs go away. Just like out here on the streets, in prison, they have cell phones, alcohol, and pretty much any drug that you could want. A drug that is very popular in prison is called K2. If you don't know what K2 is, it's a synthetic marijuana that people smuggle into prison by spraying on paper. This drug has some of the similar effects of marijuana, but it is much stronger. Sometimes when you smoke it, it will put you into a deep meditative state. I was hanging out with some of the guys and we smoked some of this K2. I went back to my rack to lay down and relax. I start to fall into this deep meditative state. And I start looking back on my life and picturing every event that led me up to where I was that day. I started to think about all of the crimes I committed all of the times I was in jail. In the past, every time I was in jail or in trouble, all I thought about was how it affected me. I would be in jail and be upset because I couldn't smoke any weed or I couldn't get any girls or I couldn't see my friends and family. But that day, as I was going through all of my past events, 
I started to think about my mother. All of the times she took me to court. All of the times she cried when I was sentenced to jail. I started to think about my children and how every time I went to jail or prison, that may have affected them. I started to think of maybe them having abandonment issues, thinking that I didn't love them because I chose the street life over them. I thought about that man I hurt 15 years ago, and that was the first time I actually felt pain and sympathy for him. It was at that point I knew I would never do anything again that would take me away from my family or hurt someone. And I would always think about others before I did or said something. That was the moment I went from being selfish to selfless. And that's one of the key things that I had to change in order to turn my life around. Oh yeah, yo, yo, so if you guys are enjoying the video so far and you want to encourage me to make more videos, make sure you like, share, and comment because when you give me those actions, it encourages me and keeps me consistently making content. Even though I adopted this <clears throat> newfound mindset, I was still pretty lost. I still had a year in prison to do, and I still had no clue what I was going to do with my life. A couple months later, I got a letter from my cousin. He sent me his number and told me to reach out to him, so I gave him a call. And he goes on to tell me how he is also turning his life around. He went into a drug treatment program and went into a sober living house. And he was going on and on about how much this sober living house helped him and how they was helping him get back on his feet and told me I should think about going when I get out. So at that point, I made the decision I was going to go into sober living when I was released. In the past, every time I had been released from prison before, I was released with no probation, no supervision and left to my own devices and I would always end up getting back involved in the street life, getting back involved with drugs, and end up back in prison. So it was then where I kind of surrendered and told myself, hey, you need some help. Obviously, you got some problems and you need to go get this stuff fixed. When I was released, I did like I said, and I went into treatment. Growing up, I always had a victim mindset. I always thought someone was out to get me, I was always watching for the police. Anytime I got in trouble, it was never my fault. It was the police or it was somebody told on me. And I always looked for someone else to blame, but I never looked in the mirror and seen who was really accountable. So once I was able to switch my perspective and realize that anything that happens in my life is solely because of the actions I chose, that is when I was able to take charge of my life and start to turn things around. I was where I was at because of the decisions I made five years ago. And where I wanted to be five years from now was going to be determined by the decisions I made that day. Here we are four years later. My life is great. I'm flourishing. I'm happy. I have everything that I want. I have relationships with my family. And the reason why is because of the decisions that I started to make four years ago. So once we can adopt that mindset and realize that we truly are in control of our future, that is when we will be able to start making calculated decisions based on where we want to go. So I'm in treatment and I'm still kind of lost. I don't really know what I'm going to do with my life. I'm kind of bitter because I'm 33 years old, I have nothing to my name, and I'm sharing a bedroom with another struggling addict. And he snores so freaking loud. I was literally about to freak out. But I just had to stay down, stay committed, and continue to do the right thing every single day. Even though I wasn't getting the rewards I wanted, even though things weren't going my way on the day to day, you have to continue to do the right thing because when the opportunity approaches, when the opportunity shows itself, you have to be ready to seize it. And that's just what happened. Everything started to fall in place. And April of 2021, I started to live stream on YouTube. Whew. 
and it changed my life. Growing up, I lived in scarcity. I watched my parents struggle to pay bills. I watched my mom drive beat up cars. I watched other kids have things that I didn't. And seeing all of that at a young age, it conditions your mind and makes you adopt this scarcity mentality. So growing up, I was so scared to be poor. I was so scared to be without that every day when I woke up, I planned to rob, steal, finesse, drug deal, and do anything to not be poor. Every day when I woke up, my mentality was, what can I take? How can I finesse somebody? How can I get what I need so I don't ever have to be poor? I had a taker's mentality. But when I switched to a giver's mentality is when my life really started to flourish. So instead of waking up asking myself, what can I take? I asked myself, what can I give? And that is the true key to success in anything you do. So every day I approached my live stream with a giver's mentality. How can I help somebody? What type of advice can I give somebody? What type of community can I create that fosters kindness, uh, happiness, and service? And that is how I've been able to succeed on my live stream. This is not an idea or a concept that somebody philosophized, 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 or created. This is a law of nature. You reap what you sow. If you're a farmer and you plant a seed, it will grow. So if you go through your life and you plant seeds of kindness, happiness, and service, you have no choice but to win. So tomorrow morning, when you wake up, ask yourself, what do I have inside me that I can give to the world? What skill set, what knowledge, what talents do I have inside me that I can give to the world? And if you approach every day with that mindset, no matter what industry you're in, no matter what job you work at, you truly have no choice but to succeed. And that's not from me, that's from the big G. Laws of nature, baby, let's go. Oh, one more thing, if you guys wanna join our brand new free community, if you want lifetime access, we just launched a new community called Young CEO, where we talk about making money online, we talk about mindset, positivity, motivation, and all of that stuff. If you guys wanna join, the link is in the description. It's free access. Go ahead and join the community. I would love to see you in there. I would love to hear more about your story and to help you on your journey uh, to accomplish whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. If you want to know what I learned from being in prison four times, watch this video or, or this one somewhere up there.